What's up everybody, it's Justin Romont here doing it looks like No Shave November because it is and I'm not really used to this so it's not, I'm not, I'm not a beard guy, it's tough for me, it's tough for me to do this but I'm doing it. Mm. I wanted to shave like a week ago but I gotta keep this going, gotta keep it through November. Anyways, today I wanna go over one of the things that can dramatically improve the look and feel of your video footage and that is color correcting and color grading your video. I didn't do this for the longest time and now I can't even fathom going back and watching those videos because they look so horrible. I didn't really know too much about color grading and then after watching videos on YouTube and just learning on my own, I have figured out how to color grade and make your footage look so much better. So I wanna share that knowledge with y'all. And real quick, if you're new here, I am gonna be doing all kinds of awesome videos here, reviews, tutorials, uploading my content that I'm doing with my video company, branded video production, vlogs, all kinds of fun stuff. So consider subscribing to my channel if you like my content. Without further ado, let's dive into Premiere Pro. So I already have Premiere Pro opened. I put in this clip from California when I went there for a conference back in September. So that's what we're gonna color correct today. Now, I do wanna say that you always wanna color correct your footage. It's gonna make a huge difference between whether your footage looks amateur or professional. I didn't used to do it, and now I can't live with watching those videos because they're so horrible to look at. But always trying to get better, right? That's why we're here. Now, I would recommend finishing your entire video before you actually color correct and grade your footage because it will bog down Adobe Premiere CC unless you have this like crazy awesome computer. So really make sure that you wait till the very end to do it. Like get all your editing done, splice up your footage, add the speed ramps, add the slow motion, whatever you're gonna do, and then color correct at the very end. So to color correct, this is exactly what I do. I go new item adjustment layer, click okay. Take that adjustment layer, drag and drop it right above your clip. Now sometimes I'll drag it on the on the second layer or third layer, depending on how many layers I'm working with. You always want this to be on the top layer because it'll apply to everything below it. And now what you do, so you can see, see the footage right here. I had like a little speed ramp. We're gonna go to window, Lumetri color. That's gonna open up the Lumetri color panel. Drag that over. So now you can kind of see it a little better. See what you're working with. I always maximize the screen so I can see full on what it will look like. Now another thing, whenever your video is playing back, this right here will tell you the quality at which it's playing back. So right now it's at a fourth. I do that because it'll play it at fairly normal speed and won't lag at all. Uh, if you did full, that would be the full quality playback of what it will be whenever you export it. Anyways, make sure you have the adjustment layer selected. We're gonna go over here. So the first thing I do is I color correct first. Color correcting deals with anything up here where you're actually just dealing with the temperature, tint, tone, uh, you know, the exposure, contrast, highlights. That is color correcting. So you gotta do that first and then you do your color grading. Color grading will just be what look and feel do you wanna go for, uh, whether it's enhancing the blues, enhancing the oranges, greens, whatever it is. Here, for this one, I just play around with it. You can kind of see what it looks like. For this type of footage, I did film it in S-Log3, so that's why it looks like so flat and like nothing. So this, this type of footage is the best to show y'all how to color grade because it takes the most color correcting and grading out of any Sony picture profile. For S-Log, you always want to increase the highlights and decrease the shadows. And now after doing that, you can kind of see that it's not quite exposed enough. So I'm gonna up the exposure a little bit. That looks a lot better. Uh, blacks, I do crush those a little bit. Uh, not a whole lot, but I do crush them. Uh, it just adds more dynamic range to the actual footage. Now for here, temperature is pretty good. Uh, I'll know more when I increase the saturation. So let's increase that. So you can really see the colors and boom. That already looks a lot better. So that's just quick and easy, right guys? If you wanna increase the whites a little bit, you can see how it makes it kind of brighter. Decrease it, makes it darker. Right about there looks good. This is a bright type day, bright type footage. I did use an ND filter for this type of shot. And now, second, we're gonna go into color grading. That's gonna be any type of tints, highlight tints, shadow tints, uh, even the hue saturation curve, 
color wheels, that's huge. I'll go through exactly what I do. So the vibrance, I always kind of increase the vibrance a little bit. It just makes the colors pop a little bit more overall. And then I don't really deal with the shadow tint and the highlight tint here. I go down to the color wheels uh, to do that. Now, this is what's awesome about the hue saturation curve. You can actually really make some colors pop whenever you do this, so check this out. So you click, one click there, one click there, and then click and drag here. And you can kind of see the greens start to really pop. See that? The greens like really pop now. Same thing with the blues. You got some sky blues right here. You can really enhance those blues. Just drag that that way. And like, wow, like look at the difference in that color. What's awesome is you can come down here and you can click this toggle track output. So that will basically blind that layer so you can see what it looked like before. So before, after. That is crazy. Now that is S-Log3, so uh, there is gonna be a huge difference, but now if I wanted to add any type of look and feel, like mood to this type of shot, which it already looks pretty good, is I'm gonna go make the shadows a little more blue. Show you what that looks like. Shadows a little more blue, mid-tones go up a little bit on the orange, highlights really go up on the orange a little more. So you can kind of see the look that it gives. So if I double click this, it'll put it back to where it was. You can see the difference. So see how that's a lot less warm. It was kind of a, a warm day that day, so I'm gonna increase that a little bit. I bring the shadows down. This is really, you can play around with what type of mood you're going for. Less is definitely more whenever you're color correcting like this, but, but yeah, that's, that's about it. And that's it, pretty simple, right? That's how you color correct and grade your footage in Adobe Premiere CC. If you have any further questions, y'all, leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to answer them and grow together as we use video to inspire the world.